Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. Um, yes, like I said last time, still a dumpster diving channel, just taking a little break. I actually might go do some dumpster diving right after I film this, which I have not done in so long. Um, right now you're staring at my door because I have a huge update for you on the interior of my house. It's just so different from when I last showed you and it is fabulous. I'm so excited to show you. Um, just hang on for just a second. Uh, let me think of anything I need to tell you. So I got the floors done, trim on the windows and everything. Just so much stuff. I'm excited to show you. It has, I have moved a lot of stuff in as well. Nothing major, but just a bunch of little stuff. So it is looking a little bit cluttered in, in spots right now. But obviously still moving in. Um, it's not quite livable just yet. I have to get my kitchen together. I have to get the bathroom together. I'm getting my electrical done on Friday. And I still have to get insulation put in on the underneath side of the house, which is the last big thing that I have to do. But after that, it should it should be good to go. It's essentially a brand new house at that point. <laughs> we have done almost everything. So I'm so excited for you guys to see this. I'm loving how this is turning out. Um, so I guess let's get right down to the update here. Oh, also, before I before I do that, I do have some, quite a bit of spots to touch up on paint, like by these little chair rails here in the corners where two walls meet, some things that the floor is kind of scuffed up when they were putting the floor in, stuff like that. So that'll all take place at some point, but here's the kitchen. We'll start with this. Here is the flooring that I got in the kitchen. This was really the only neutral non-dated option that the floors had for a kitchen area um, that they had in stock which made it discounted um, with that being said though I do really really love it it is light and clean and it matches the tiles that are already on the wall look at how perfect that matches it's like a perfect match so that's the flooring they did a great job putting it in they gave me the trim against the wall and everything so there's that and then my same windows and everything. We're getting things put in here soon. And then another kitchen update. I got my backboard put in. I went back and forth so long with what to put up here. But then I finally just decided on plain white. And I love it. It's crisp and clear and clean. And technically this is a, a whiteboard. Like a dry erase board. So I could even write on here if I wanted to. I'm not going to. But if I wanted to. I could. But I love the way that white looks with the tile and the new floor. And then I'm going to finish up my cabinets here. We took them off, um, spackled in the previous handles, kind of like that. We have to sand them down and redo it again. And then paint them, which will all happen here soon. So yes, there's the backsplash for the kitchen. I love it. I was not sure how it was going to turn out, but I do really love it. And then there's the floor. Now, here's the fun part. The living room. Uh, well, actually, everything. This is the floor that we got in the rest of... When I say we, I mean me. That I got in the rest of the house. Um, originally, I was going to get a different floor in the bathroom, but they told me that it was easier, cheaper, better just to do one roll throughout the whole house, the whole back side of the house. And I actually love how it looks in the bathroom as well. So it's like a... It's just a roll of vinyl, but it's wood grain, dark... Again, they only had one brown color for the option, but I do love it. So there's the flooring. That's the major, major update. Again, I have a lot of stuff, but I have some slowly moving some plants in. I brought my fireplace back in. I got new grates. You can't see this one, but this one's so pretty. I'll show it to you eventually. It's white. It has like a design on the top. And these ones are just, you know, basic metal but I got all new grates. I got a nice big new tortilla looking rug. <laughs> it's round though. And I'm going to play off the round aspect. Because this room itself, it's not round. But I don't know. It just gives me a round vibe. This is round. All that stuff. Here's the flooring up on the little thing right there. I don't know what we call that. <laughs> so yes. And I'm getting new light fixture right here. I might change this one, this one out as well. Just to fit the vibe. I really... I'm loving how this is all coming together and I'm so excited for the next part because that's the fun part for me getting to decorate and everything. Oh, I didn't even show you the trim. 
I got everything trimmed. The whole house is trimmed. Most of it is this wood grain, which again, I love um, because I'm going for, oh, I didn't show you that. Okay, give me a second. I got a lot to show you. Here's the trim. Um, they trimmed all the windows the inside of the windows, everything. Some of the doors I had them trim. Um, it really, really ties the whole house together. I do have some white trim in the bedroom, which I'll show you. And then I got my shiplet put up. I love it. Um, I do have a few extra pieces. I wish I had more, but I might figure out something to do with these ones. But I love the shiplap wall. I love that. Um, super cute. Here it is looking into the kitchen. Nice little accent. With my curtains here, it won't look so abrupt, but I think it's fabulous. So here's me standing in the corner showing you this view. It's nice and bright and airy. It looks much, much bigger without the carpet and all of that gunk. <laughs> I think it's really come a long way. And then let me walk this way and give you this view. I know it's kind of cluttered, but I love the vibe I have going so far. I'm super excited to finish decorating and getting everything in. So there's that. Let me give you the rest of the tour here. Here's my hallway. Again, the flooring looks great. Trim. See, they did the whole house. Oh, we even painted the ceilings. Did I tell you guys that? We painted the ceilings white, bright white. Um, that needs to be done again. We used kills, but that stain came through. So we'll do that again, but nice bright ceilings. And then this is going to be my plant room. It's actually painted the same color, but because of this red light, it looks kind of pink, but that's okay. Uh, it's also going to be kind of my office area. Here's my beautiful bromeliad. He is blooming. I did bring more plants in. I got my light set up. Super exciting. I can't wait to decorate everything. I'm just so excited. This ugly blue door, they did trim for me. And then that's my water heater. I'm going to put some wallpaper on it to give it a nice little accent. They also trimmed the inside of this door. It's just awesome. I do have an update in the bathroom, even though it's a hot mess right now. I'll show you that last. And then here's my bedroom. It has these two walls, they are gray. This is that same gray I had in the bathroom, which looks blue, but I swear they're gray. Uh, it definitely has a blue hint to it, though, hint to it, though. and this trim, up at the top, the crown molding trim is white in here. So, and look at that vent grate cover. That's super cool too. We got cool ones. Flooring looks nice. I got some of my blue pieces coming in because I'm doing a blue, blue, gray, white, wood bedroom theme, I suppose you could say. Nice light coming in from the window. This is the TV that came with the house, actually. Looking down into the living room. Super fun. Okay, so here comes the bathroom. Oh, here's my electrical box. This is getting replaced on Friday, like I said, and some of you were curious on how much I was quoted, and I was quoted $785 for everything, including labor, all that stuff, which obviously, if I knew somebody or if I was handy with electric or anything, it could be done much, much cheaper, but I think that's a very, very, very fair quote based on what I have read. So we went with them. They're coming on Friday, and then I can get my air conditioning fully hooked in, which is fun. Okay, so here's the flooring in the bathroom. Looks great. There's the light. Here's the update. Don't mind that side. I'll tell you about that in a second. I painted my vanity like a forest green. It's a little bit darker than it looks on camera. Don't mind my storage tub right now, but here's the drawers, and the doors need some touching up as well, but I really love it. I love the look of it, and I have to fix down there at the bottom still. Um, I think it's awesome. However, I did pull the tape off a little too soon while the paint was still tacky, and it peeled it away. So I have to redo that, but I love, I love it. So I know that once I redo it, it'll be fabulous. And I spray painted the hardware black, so the knobs and stuff are black. Um, so that's great. Bad news is the spray that I used on my vanity top is horrible. <laughs> I do not recommend it. It was the tub and tile spray. I believe it was Rust-Oleum. It looks good, but it is so porous 
that these stains that should easily wipe away on a vanity top do not. I can't get them off. They are soaked in to the spray even though it had dried for a week basically. So it is just a mess. It's dirty everywhere. It would drive me insane. So I'm going to have to end up getting a new vanity top, which isn't a huge deal. They're very um, reasonably priced. It's just the installation and everything. And this is the new faucet that I got. It's a brushed copper, I believe, or oil rubbed bronze. I wanted black, but it was sold out everywhere. He said within 50 miles, the black was sold out. So this is pretty black. It's very similar. So I went with that one. And I got a new vanity top. It's just going to be white again with my new green vanity. Love it. Love, love, love it. And obviously this wall has not been finished yet. I, I had an idea, but I'm still debating now what to put on this wall. I think that's it. I think that's all the update I have for you guys, but it's a pretty big update. Flooring is in. It's fabulous. I love it. Kitchen is coming together which is also fabulous, and I also love it. And my shiplap, which just needs to be cleaned a little bit. Once again, fabulous, and I love it. <laughs> so I think that's it, guys. Also, I've, ha I've had so many questions. I am going to be the only one living here, just so everybody knows just me is going to be living here. So I think with two people, it would probably be pretty tight. I mean, not really. You could definitely make it work. It's much bigger than some things. But with with just me, I'm going to have so much space to, not so much, I don't want to exaggerate. I'm going to have just enough space to put everything, um, decorate how I want to, you know, everything. So super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I'm really glad you guys have been enjoying these types of videos. I know I'm not really getting into details and everything because I haven't filmed the actual process, but I'm filming the along the way with the small updates and big updates and everything. So that is it for the day today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. And I will be back soon with more house renovation slash hopefully dumpster diving videos after today soon. Uh, thank you and bye. <laughs>